Today's video is all about watch faces. And what's more fun on the watch than the face? And today we're gonna to show you all the different options and how to set them all up. Hi, it's Barbara and Karen here, the Sync Sisters. Our channel is all about bringing you simple steps for tech savvy living. So if you like what you see here, please take the time and subscribe. And also don't forget to cl click the bell um, to stay notified of our current uploads. And we absolutely adore your comments. Please them. keep them coming. And who doesn't like a good like, so please like away. Also, please watch the commercials. Um, it's one way that we can keep bringing you these free videos. So there are two ways that you can set up faces on the Apple Watch. One is um, using the uh, watch app on your iPhone, which is the most extensive and the and easiest, the easiest yeah. as it usually is, right? Go right to the phone. You can also set up watch faces right on your watch, which is really handy when you're out and about. And we're going to show you how to do that later. But we're going to start with the watch app on the iPhone. Right. And we're going to run through every single watch oh. face <laughs> and explain in detail all the things you can do with it. Yeah. Um, so we did put them in the time code down right. below. If you want to jump ahead or you want to come back later and look at a certain yeah. watch face, you can do that. Great. Okay. So we're going to go into the watch app, which yep. is in the upper right hand corner of my iPhone. It's black background with the profile of the watch. Mm -hmm. And when we come in, what we want to do is go to the bottom row and we're going to pick the second option over, which is the face gallery. Okay. Now it's really nice to know that um, anytime they come out with a new OS for the watch, they put new faces up at the top. So you can see there are four new faces here with the latest version of the watch OS. Right. Um, they also come alphabetically below, so we're not going to look at them there. We'll catch them as we come along here. Yep. Okay. So the first one we're going to take a look at is the activity watch face. Right. And that is a great one for people for working out. Yep. A lot of people get yep. the Apple Watch just because working out, right? Right. Now, there are three different uh, ways that you can see it, but you can pick on any of these to actually go into the settings for right. it. This one has the activity rings large. Right. This is the activity rings large. And when you come in, it, it basically will give you a little description of the watch. You know, it's, it's showing face. you your, or the face, it's showing you your three activity rings, okay? And yep. telling you um, what you've got. Now, you've also got color. So this is kind of nice. You can come in and you can tap on the different colors and you can see that some of the things change right. color. It's mostly the, the in numbers. this one, it's the little number markers. The little tickers. The little tickers. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded funny. Um, then you can come down and you can pick a different style. So okay. this is rings and we can go to the sub dials. Yeah. Which cool. is kind of fun. You Separates can look at them, them separate depending on how you want to look. That's fun. And then we have our complications. Now that sounds kind of like something's wrong. Right. But it isn't. Yep. Um, or complicated. <laughs> right. The complication is an old watch term and it's yep. anything on the watch face that is not the time. Right. A function that's not the time. Right. Yep. So we have three complications and, and Apple has a whole bunch of things mm -hmm. that are complications like messages and, you know, clock and timer and all the, the little apps that they have. Um, but some of your third party apps will have complications too. And you can find those. We'll show you where to find those a little bit later. Right. Okay? And every face has a different amount of complications and which ones you can choose. And that's what we're going to go through. That's right. So here we have top left, top right, and bottom. So if you just tap on one of them, the top left, maybe I don't care about weather. Maybe I want, I want the workout app there. And you can see the top left of the face just changed. changed. That. Yep. And if I do top right, maybe on the top right, I want to put, um, I don't know, the stopwatch. Yep. So you can just come through and change the different things. On the bottom, for the activity app, the heart rate really makes a lot of sense. That's kind of nice. Or for this activity dial, maybe right. I'm doing you know a lot of exercise. Yeah, I want to see monitoring what's going your on. your heart rate. But maybe I want to see my messages or the yeah. moon phases. Right. Who knows? So, music. So <laughs> music can, would be a good one for working out. Yeah, it would. So you can come through and you can just pick whatever things you want for the complications. Now to add this to the watch. You actually have to add. Okay. So don't just set it up and go. You got to tap on add and you can see it, it pops Moves it down, down to my watch tab. Yep. So now it's in there. So All where right. is it? We're going to look at that a little bit okay. later. All right. But now let's just take a look at that face on the watch. So here we are, we're looking at the watch and this is the activity face and you can see we have all the complications set up and it looks fantastic. Um, and this face, um, the digital crown doesn't do anything. So it's pretty much just looking at what a great watch face it is. Right. 
Okay, now we're back and we're going to take a look at the next watch face, which is the astronomy face. Right, very popular, I think. It's a very, it's a very interesting, it's a modern version mm -hmm. of um, the astronomy. It'll show um, three different things. You have the, the um, Earth view, you have the moon view, and you have the solar view. Right. And you, you can't really do anything in here but add it to your watch, which we're going to do. And, and now I'm going to add it. Okay. Now let's take a look at it on the watch. So here we are on the watch with our astronomy uh, face, face. And first we're going to show you this is the earth. And um, if I move my digital crown, it's going to take us through. You can see what it looks like at all different times of the day. Right. And it's showing you on the bottom, like this is minus nine hours. From the time it is now. Right. right. So if we go forward. You can see the times up here. Yep. That, that it's showing you, right? Right. Exactly. Now to get out of that, I just tap. Okay. And if I click down here, it's going to show me the moon, the moon phases. That's what it is right now. If I go through here, it's going to show me the other days. Right. See how the date is changing up here? Right. So it's showing me what moon phase, right. uh, you know, it, the different dates. Right. Like what, it, what will it be? Will it, yeah. be? will it be a right. new moon or a full moon? Right. Yep. So if I tap again on the face, it's going to bring me back out here and, um, and then the last one's the solar system. The last one is the solar system. If I tap on down there, and it shows me, oh, this is the solar system. Now let's Very turn cool. the digital crown and see what we get. It's going to show us on this date what the alignment of the planets is going to be. That's so cool. I mean, it's really, really pretty cool. It is. It is. <laughs> I love it. And um, it's, just, it's just fun. I'm going to tap again. And it's going to bring me back to the face. And so you can see, you can set it on either any one of the three that you want. Right. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the next watch face, which is the chronograph. Chronograph. That's the hard one to yeah, say. Yeah, it is. Chronograph. <laughs> chronograph. 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 <laughs> and you can see here all the different faces for the chronograph. This is kind of a cool. This is kind of fun. Old I kind of like. Look. Yeah, I kind of like this kind of I yellowy too. white background. So I'm going to pick that one. And um, you can come in, and again, it'll tell you a little description about it. So it tells you, you know, there, there are two hands, one's for measuring total time, and a second flyback hand for measuring lap times. Okay. So if you're, if you're, you know, out, if you're, you know, I don't know, if you're working yeah, with runners or something, yes. anytime you need to do that kind of chronograph type Those, of things, you're oh. sailing, anytime, you know, there's a start or something. Those descriptions are great on each face. You can spend some time reading them and yes. learning exactly what it means. Yes. And then you can also change the color here. So you, you see can how come the face changes, change. which is kind of cool. All right. We'll go ahead and stay with light yellow. And then we have the time scale. So we can set a 60 second time scale, a 30 second. And what that's changing is the number of ticks. So we can see what scale we're in for the chronograph. Oh, that's Depending cool. on what you're doing. And then this one has four complications. Four complications. It tells you where they are. That's left. right. And you can see they're, they're yep. all the way around the face. And again, you just tap on it and you scroll through and you pick the complication that you want. Perfect. And it'll change it. Yep. So that's really easy. And that's great. when we are ready to go, we just tap add. And it went into the My Watch. And now let's take a look at it on the watch. So now we have the chronographer face up, and the, uh, the great feature about this one is its advanced or its special stopwatch. You can see it up, we've got it up in the upper right. If I tap on it, you can do several different things. If I keep tapping, it's going to add um, different forms of lap measurements. Right. And so if you're really into doing laps and uh, t timing things or yourself running, this is a great handy face to use. And if I tap again, it's going to go back out. Yeah, you tap on that bottom right. Now you're back out to the actual watch face. But right. if you're if you're into doing, obviously Karen and I are not into lap yeah. swimming or timing kids right. or something. But but this has the specialized integration stopwatch. with the stopwatch, right. right? And it's the complication in the upper right, and it can't be changed. Um, that's what right. it always stays there because so it's part of the watch. If that's your deal. If that's your deal, you're gonna love this face. That's right. <laughs> Okay, and now we're back and we're going to take a look at the next watch face, which is the color watch face, they call it. Mm -hmm. um, these are some basic colors out here you can pick. I'm going to go ahead and pick the purple. And once you come in, you can fine tune that purple color, yes. maybe go into the blues. You yep. can change the color in here. And I know with the current watch OS, the 
lots of colors like when it when the watch first came out there were like four colors yeah look at all these colors i mean there's <laughs> very so intricate right many different colors you can choose it's fun um so once you pick a color uh, we'll take electric pink then you come down you've got your complications to change again again you just tap on it and pick the one that you, you want yep and it's good um, the other thing you can do with this watch face, which is kind of fun, is you can turn on the monogram. Okay. Now you can see right above the hands, I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. You'll oh, see my initials. initials. I love that. What a fancy Isn't watch. Isn't that fun? Um, <laughs> and where you find that is you set it up in the clock settings. So you go into okay. the watch app, you go to setting, you go down to the clock, and then in there you'll find monogram. Okay, in the watch app settings. I don't know why they don't have it in yeah. here. It doesn't make sense to me. It should be here. Right. Because you don't use it anywhere else. It would. But that's where you find <laughs> it. So if you're wondering what that is, that's what, what that it is. is. And we'll go ahead and we'll add this to the watch. Now let's take a look at it on the watch. And now we have the watch face, the colored watch face up. And here's, you can see the color that we chose. And you can see how we have the monogram initials there. And so this is just a beautiful looking face and you can pick out all those different colors that we showed you before. Okay, now we're back and we're gonna go down to the next watch in line and that's the Explorer at watch mm -hmm. face. So this looks very much like, sporty. Um, yeah, sporty, rugged kind of a watch face. Mm -hmm. One thing that's kind of cool about this one is it will show you if your watch is on using cellular. Okay. If your watch is Ooh, yeah. away, if you're away from uh -huh. your phone or something you have like the cellular watch. You have the cellular watch, those green Seriously. dots across the top of right above the hands are gonna show you when the watch is using the cellular network. Okay, so if you don't see those, it's on Wi-Fi. It's on Wi-Fi. Or there's no cellular at all. That's right. <laughs> That's how ex big of an explorer you are. Right, so you can see, <laughs> right, exactly. Um, and you can change the color scheme a little bit, yeah. you know, kind of like kinda the, fun. the red and the white. And then there's different styles here. They're just um, different styles of how it looks. Yeah. So you can pick one of those. This one's a little simpler. Apple is always so fun, right? Yeah, I kind of so kind of like <laughs> this one because it's simple, this, this first one. And then you have three complications with this one. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and add it to the watch. And now let's look at it on the watch. So now this is the Explorer face and you can see this is the face that we chose and set up. Set up. Um, there's nothing um, else to show you um, about the digital crown or anything for this face. But if you know right here in this area, if our watch was not connecting Wi-Fi, if it was connecting via just cellular, you would see those four dots like we did in just the, the previous clip. Right, and this watch face only works on the cellular version of the phone. Oh, or of the, the watch. watch. Right. So the Series Three. <laughs> right. So um, it's kind of handy because then you would know. Wait a minute, why why isn't the Wi-Fi working? Or, right. Or wait, I'm using cellular now. Right. You know, better watch it, or you know, just be aware of it. Right. The next one down is a really fun watch face. It's called Kaleidoscope. And I think this one is really fun. Yeah. Um, I love this one. I'm going to go ahead and pick <laughs> the first the first way of the kaleidoscope. And it's really cool because it's actually using an image to create this kaleidoscope. Right. Um, you can see down at the bottom here, it's on image one. If I tap on image two, it changes image three, image four. So they've got these preset images that you can pick. Yep. And then you can do custom. You can go yeah. out and pick one of your own photos. Right. And it'll create a watch face or a, a kaleidoscope. And um, it's pretty cool. And then there are three different styles. This is the faucet mm -hmm. or facet. Is it facet? facet? I think it's facet. We've got radial and we've got rosette. Yep. So pretty really, different ways to look at them. Really fun. And we're going to show you some cool stuff here in just a second on the watch. Um, then we've got three complications. So again, you can tap on any of them, scroll through and, and pick, pick it. Pick it. Yeah. Go to the next one, pick that one and you're done. And then we'll add it to the watch. And now let's look at it on the watch. Here we are on the Kaleidoscope watch and you can see it's got the, the, the face that we picked out. And if I turn my wrist away and you come back, you can see it in action and it's really fun. Now you can also turn the digital crown, oops, let me tap, turn the digital crown to change the way it looks. Isn't that fun? Yeah, so try it like that. Turn your wrist away, it comes back and it's in motion. So that's a really fun, the kaleidoscope. Yep. It's 12.56. Good afternoon. It's 12.56. Good afternoon. 
The Apple Watch is so cool on its own, but it's even cooler when you can change the bands. Yes, I love bands. And right now I have three of them and they're so fun to switch up. So we have picked out some of our favorites. If you wanna go ahead and support us and click the Amazon link, either the circle I in the, in, on the screen or in our description below. Right, you'll get the same great Amazon shopping, uh, great prices and security, but we'll get a commission to help us to keep bringing you these free tech t t tutorials. Right, which we love doing. So we, we really appreciate your support. So let's go shopping now. Let's go. Now we're gonna look at another really fun watch face. Of and course. That's Mickey and Minnie. Mickey and Minnie. Um, I'm gonna go ahead let's and pick Let's do Minnie, Minnie. Girl Power, yeah, go. Girl Power. Um, really, really fun uh, Mickey and Minnie. And you can go through and you can choose, I kind of like the black and white Minnie. I think that one's really fun, but you can change her clothes. So That's you can cute. have her in whatever clothes, colors you want. So go ahead and have fun with that. Um, and again, you can pick Mickey or Minnie. Yep. Um, you've got three complications, so you can go ahead and tap on any of those and change it to whatever you want. Right. And then add the watch face. There it goes. Now let's take a look at it on the watch. All right, so here we are on the Mickey or Minnie watch, and we have Minnie set up in black and white. It looks real retro. We love it. The fun thing about this is if I tap... She told us the time, and then she always says a different little Silly thing bit. after it. She yeah. might giggle or right. yeah, say good so, morning. I love it. That's a super one, super fun one. Yep. Okay. Now the next watch face is oftentimes everybody's favorite. Yes, the motion. That's the one I started no, with. Oh, oh, the uh, modular. Modular. Now it's my favorite. Yes. At first I was captivated by the next one. Yes, the modular watch is it's showing the workhorse. us. Uh, it's the workhorse <laughs> of all faces. And if you tap on it, you'll see why. Because you have five complications. The most of any face. The most of any face right here. And it looks this. cool. It looks cool. Um, again, you can pick whatever color you want. And all of the things will be that color, but we kind of like this multicolor yeah. option because it's real colorful and fun. Mm -hmm. And then here's your five complications. Ooh. So you can go through and you know tap on one and change it to whatever you want. Right. You just go through all so of these, nice. and it's really really nice. Um, I love this this watch I face. I do too. Go ahead and add it to the watch. Oops. Tap on add, and now let's look at it on the watch. So this is, now we have up the modular face, and as you can see, we have all five of our complications, and you know, it's really nice, because like the one that's here is bigger, which I always like to put the weather there, because it shows you everything about the weather. So this is a great face, and it doesn't do anything with its digital crown, so just showing you what it looks like on the watch. All right, the next one is also um, oftentimes yeah. somebody's favorite. This, this is, is when I first got my watch. This is the one that captivated me, the right. opening and closing and moving. And right, moving. it's yeah. cool, it's cool. So you can see here we got a jellyfish, a butterfly, and a flower, or flower and a butterfly. And if we tap on one of them and come in, we're gonna see <clears throat> the different collections, okay? There's butterflies, flowers, and jellyfish, and there are four Mm -hmm. of each yeah and it's really cool we're going to show you just a second on the watch when you move your wrist they'll fun change stuff you can do right um, and then we have three complications again you just tap on one of the complications to change it and it, it'll show you the preview if you like where it is we tap add it adds it to the watch and let's take a look at it on the watch so now we are on the motion watch which was the one i first fell in love with because it's so fun if i turn my wrist away and I come back, a flower opens. Let me do it again. And it's a different flower. It's so fun. And if, if you, um, as we just showed you, there's also the jellyfish or the butterflies that do the same thing. And if you wanna just change it um, without moving your wrist around, you can tap here and it'll change the flower. Just be careful when you're tapping not to tap on a complication because of course you'll go into that complication. Right, right. <laughs> but it is just, Still one of my favorite faces. All right, and now we're back, and we've got a very simplistic um, watch face a here. A sleek now. one. It's a sleek, very simple one. Simple, yes. refined. Good for your uh, art gallery outing yes. or something. <laughs> so um, you can see here the, the different uh, versions of the typeface for the date. Yeah, you they're kind of fun. They're kind of fun. So let's just go in, because we can also change that in here. 
Uh, there's really not a lot that you can do with this um, besides change the color. So you can go through and find a color that you like. Mm -hmm. And then down below, you can pick the typeface. And I kind of like the dotted one. I think that's mm -hmm. really fun. But you've got rounded, you've got regular, and so on. And you only have one right. simple complication. I so. remember when we were doing our long watch video, which is a great video people, people oh, should right. watch. The watch app, watch, Apple Watch Complete How-To Guide. Right. We'll link it in the description. I remember you called this face the date night one. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it looks simple and sleek and it only has one complication because yes. you're not going to be checking things when you're out with on a date or you're right. special someone. Right. In fact, um, another thing I didn't show is with all those complications anywhere, you can turn them off too. You don't have to have the oh, complications. Right. That's so on right. this one, I'm just going to leave it the time. That's it. Yep. Add it. It's going to add to the watch. Let's look at it on the watch. So now we have um, our numerals face up and you can see it's just beautiful and sleek and simple and it's very refined and we turned off, it does have one uh, complication, but we turned it off so we are just super sleek and just the numeral, right? Right. Now the next one is also really fun and that's photos because who doesn't love their photos, right? Uh, yeah, me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, I do. Yes, you do. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on oh, one of these watches. There's our brother. There's our big brother. <laughs> no, this picture doesn't really fit in there very well, but um, the photos... Well, you're just cut out, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay with me. No, I'm just hey, kidding. <laughs> Mom's not in there either. Um, anyway, you can set this up um, with custom pictures that you pick, or you can sync it to an album. Okay. So um, you can pick, oh, do the synced album. Okay, now you might wonder, where is the synced album? Where is it? Okay. I don't know. you got to set that up in the photos settings, okay. which is kind of silly, but that's where you so set it up. So you make an album that's called sync album? No, you can do any album that you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. You just go to settings here in the watch app. The watch app settings. And then go to photos. Go to photos. And then in there, it'll say, choose, choose yeah. your sync. Right. Choose your sync. Perfect. One. And... You know, I don't know um, why they didn't put that in here too, but they didn't. So, okay. and if we tap on custom, you can go out and you can pick. I've got these five photos in here, but I can tap on add at the bottom and I can add up to 10 photos for oh, a slideshow. Great. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, and then you can position the time either at the top or the bottom, depending on, you know, what picture you have. Mm -hmm. Maybe you set one up with just one picture on it, you know. Um, and then you've got two complications. So you can, you can tap on those and you can change the complication and then add it to your watch. Perfect. Okay. Let's take a look at it on the watch. Here we are on the photos watch. And um, as we just showed you, we linked it to a folder in our photos app. And here's a picture. If I turn my wrist away and come back, there's another picture. And it shows live pictures, which is kind of fun too. If yeah, the so you get live, the movement. Yeah, yep. Yep. And also to change the photo, you can just oops, tap on it and it swipes you through the photos. So that's a really, really fun watch. It's awesome. All right. The next one is the simple watch face. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's like a simplified version of know. the like, chronographer, right? Yeah, or the not the chronographer, but the explorer. Explorer, kind of. I mean. Yeah. yeah, that's what I meant to say. It looks very much like the explorer, except you can go yeah. all the way over here that, to an extreme. No, that's fun. That's fun. That that's, looks like an old-fashioned watch. Right. A Movado watch simple or one, something. Yeah. Right. So you can come in here and you can change the color. This is really changing just the color of the second okay. hand. Yep. Um, and then here are all the styles again. Yep. And then your complications. And this one also has uh -oh, five, five complications. Okay, that can't be right. No, no it, it doesn't. Is. What? It, it does. does. It I does. have the middle right. one off. Okay, let's turn the but, middle one on. Oh. Yep. But it's an analog look. It's, it's not an analog. a digital time. Right. right. That's analog. why we like the modular one. Right. So <laughs> if you like to have lots of complications and you don't want digital, you can choose the simple watch face. Right. And we'll go ahead and we'll add it to our gallery. And now let's look at it on the watch. So now we have the uh, simple watch face. And this is nice and simple. As you can see, it's beautiful, but it's actually very complicated. It has, you know, four complications. Actually, five. Five, five yeah. complications, excuse me. So it's really not that simple, right? Right, but, but they're the simple. The design of it yeah. is simplistic. They're small. They're yep. set in the corners. And the digital crown on this one doesn't do any added features. So it's just a beautiful watch. All right, now we're back and let's take a look at the next face, which is new with uh, this OS and it's the Siri face. Oh, okay. What is now, that? Now, it's kind of cool because 
um, what this does is it will show you below the time there. You see where it says La on this one it says Lafayette and 11 a.m. And then below it, you can kind of see um, a, a, a yep. meeting somebody mm -hmm. has. Mm -hmm. So what it'll do is Siri will serve up things that make sense throughout ah, your day. Like if you have an appointment coming yeah, up, if you have an appointment coming up, put that there. She might show you the weather or how Directions. long it, yeah, how long it takes you to get home mm -hmm. at the end of the day. So it's kind of fun to use this face. Um, there are two complications and you don't need to have the Siri as one of the complications. You can change that. You know, you can tap the digital crown to invoke Siri. So why take up room on your, oh, okay. on your face when maybe you want to see something else like you want the workout app there. Right. But the face is still Siri functioning it's, and deciding what it should put yes, on the face. Siri's deciding what, uh, what makes sense for you throughout the day. And That's, it's kind of fun. It is kind and, of fun. And now let's take a look at it on the watch. All right, so here we are on the Siri watch face, and you can see right now she's showing us the sunset and the time. Um, if I use my digital crown, I can go through, run through these options for the day that Siri's going to show me. So let's see. Up next. Ah, a story from the Washington Post. Ah, take a reminder from my breathe app. <laughs> and a calendar event. So you can see it's kind of fun, right? Yep, and to get back to the face. Tap the digital crown yep. to go back. So Siri's a great watch face. The next one is the solar face. Solar. Uh, this is really pretty cool. One, yeah. um, it is showing you the position of the sun relative to the horizon in your current location. Oh, wow. It's very cool. And um, the arc represents the sun's path, and it'll expand and contract based on your location and shift um, relative to the, the horizon. It's pretty cool. Is that so that throughout the day or throughout the year? Throughout the day. This is the day. Okay, here. so it'll change. Yeah, and in the summer, it would be much higher because your oh, days are longer. Fun? I love and the, it. And yeah. then around December, it's going to be much closer That's to the great. horizon. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, and there's really not anything you can do in here. I'm just going to add it and let's take a look on the watch. Now we have the solar face, which is a, a very fun one. Um, at first glance, it just looks very simple like, oh, it's showing us the sun is right there during the day. But if I use my digital crown, I can change the time of the day. And you can see the time is changing up here and it's showing me where the sun will be. So you can go all the way down and you hit that little dot. It's gonna show you sunset. Oh, it looks pretty, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can go all the way back to see what time sunrise was right. at. And it shows you dusk and dawn and then yeah. the, um, solar, the little... solar noon and midnight. This little dots on the gray right. line. Right, or dusk and dawn. Right, and so to so get back on. to the face, I'm going to click the digital crown. And so that's a pretty cool one. Yeah, it's fun. The next watch face is the time-lapse watch face. Okay. And this is also a pretty cool watch face. Um, they've got several locations here. Let's go ahead and check Paris. Oh, because I want to go there. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> um, and it, it basically illustrates the passage of time using time-lapse photography. Oh, cool. And it's all relative to the time where you are. Uh, so if we fun. pitch this watch, if you pick this watch face and add it at night and look at it, it'll show nighttime. Right. You and know? then during and the day, it, it during changes. During the day, and it changes. Maybe at dusk and dawn, it's a little different. Yeah, and it's really cool that it, it actually knows your time, and it'll right. start out there. So it's not just... That's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So, um, And then you have two complications. Two complications. Again, you can Perfect. tap on it, and you can change it if you you know want to change it. Add it to your watch. Let's look at it on the watch now. So here we have the time-lapse time lapse <laughs> watch face. And um, this is showing us, um, for the picture we chose of Paris, what it looks like um, at our current time of the day. Right. And the digital crown does not take you through the rest right. of the day. I wish <laughs> so, it did. I know. That would be kind of fun. <laughs> but just know, you know, when it becomes uh, like 5, 6 o'clock, that's what time the sun is setting this time of year, this photo will change and right. give a night version of Paris. That's right. So it's very fun. All right. Now we're back and let's take a look at another really fun um, one. Who doesn't love Toy Story? I just oh, love it. I do too. And this is new um, for <clears throat> the, the this mm -hmm. watch face is new and um, it's kind of fun. You can pick the toy box, which will show you um, not only Buzz, Woody, and Jesse, but also some of the toys. Okay, okay. like the potato head and the oh, dinosaur and stuff like that. <laughs> um, or if you only want Buzz, you can just tap on Buzz right. or Woody or Jesse. 
and you're gonna gonna see just the animations with them. They're all custom made for the watch oh, base. Oh, cool, cool. So it's not just um, some you picture know, shrunk down little or, thing. Yeah. yeah, it's very cool. And you have two complications. I have the bottom one off right now, so let's go ahead and turn that on. Maybe I'm doing something where I'm weather sensitive. So right. I'm going to turn the weather on for this one. Well, where we live, we're always weather sensitive. <laughs> That's right. We have a heavy winter, <laughs> so we have full on four seasons, That's right? That's right. I'm going to go ahead and add this one to the watch, and let's take a look on the watch. So now this is the Toy Story watch face, and this one is really cute. You can see this is the character that we've chosen, and you can see it's an animated watch face. She's blinking and she's moving around a little bit. Yeah. And to see different animations, um, you don't use the digital crown. All you have to do is tap, and it's a different animation. Cute. Or you can do your wrist, and come back up to her. Let's see, does that do a different one? Yeah. Yep, there yeah. she is. That fun? Yeah, it's very so it's fun. a very fun watch, and you'll, as we just showed you, you can pick the different characters and see what animations they have for the Toy Story watch face. All right, and we got two more to look at. Um, the next one is called the Utility okay. Face. Again, kind of similar also to yep. some of the other Explore ones. and yeah. chronographer or simple, but we come in just here. Just a different look. Um, yeah, it, it's got legibility and practicality. You can go ahead and change the color. Again, you're changing the color of, I think, just one of the complications yep. and the second hand. And then you have all these different styles Faces, that you can yep. pick. And you have four complications, so that's pretty big. Yep. And again, you just tap on one of them. You can either turn it off or scroll through and find one um, that, you, that right. you use a lot. That's great. Go ahead and add it, and let's look on the watch. So this is the utility watch phase, and you can see it's everything that we set up, all the complications, and it's just very, uh, it has a lot of rich features and, you know, rich um, demarcations of time, and so it's just a very uh, utilitarian right. watch phase. Yes, that's, that's the name. Yes. All right, now the last one we're going to look at is called Extra Large, and that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I love that one. It's really well, big. Well, if you were, you know, like my husband said, like sometimes if I'm in a meeting, I'll put that on. If I'm watching time, like I yeah. have to leave early or something, and time is all I want. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And you want to make sure you see the time, or maybe, yeah. you know, someone who, well, whatever. If it's just there yeah. for you, big as it can be. Yep. Um, you can also turn on a complication. Now when you turn a complication on, that becomes the prominent thing. So maybe somebody is, I don't know, maybe there's an alarm function, you know, and it, that you want to, do you want to be aware of really? Yes. A lot. So yep. you would put it on that. Let's, let's go ahead and leave it. I'm going to turn the complication off because okay. I think that's kind of fun. Add it to the watch and let's take a look on the watch. So now here we have the extra large watch face and this is where you have the time giant or you could, uh, there was another thing you could have giant. Giant, you can pick one complication and it'll right. be big in the middle. Yeah. So this yeah. is nice if time is really a, of an issue to you whenever you're um, out and about or something. It's great to have it big like this or any of the other complications. All right. So we've gone through all the faces, which is great. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap back on the My Watch tab to bring us back out here. And now you can see under My Faces, we have all those faces that we've added. Now that means when we look at it uh, in, a, in a minute on the watch, all these will be available right. for me on the watch. Right. Already set up, which is nice. So um, let me show you a few things. If we tap edit, you can bring it up. And this is where you could get over the um, three line icon, tap and hold if I wanted to move them around. And we're going to show you on the watch how you can swipe through them. So you might want to keep uh, a few that you really like close to each other. Right. And if I wanted to delete a face, I would just tap the red switcher button. Right. And it will just go away. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and tap done. Then um, the next thing I want to show you is the complications, the third party complications. Right. Um, as we've seen through setting up all these watch faces, Apple has a set of complications. But if I tap here on complications, this is going to show me um, which of my apps have complications for the watch. It'll be right. your apps on your phone. And you'll see up here a list of them, and then you see do not include, and then um, we have one down there. And th what, it, what it was is that this rules had a watch complication. We right. decided we don't want it on there, so we went in and we tapped edit. Yep. And then this is where we, if we hit 
Yeah, go ahead. The red switcher. You can remove it. Move it, and it's going to put it down there. It's nice that it keeps it down there so you know, oh, I yeah. forgot that any list had right. one. And if you want to add it again, just tap on the plus sign, and now it's back up it's there. It's back up there. And now it'll show up. Again, in certain places, right? <laughs> you don't know exactly where Apple will let you have all the complications. Right. They've kind of figured that out. Um, now, another thing is that Apple doesn't allow third-party watch faces, but you can download pictures formatted for the Apple Watch okay. um, and use one of them as a photo face. Um, you, can, you can search on Pinterest. A lot of people have created Pinterest boards with these images. Um, we're going to put a Tumblr link down in the description yep. um, for, for a really nice collection of uh, pictures formatted for the Apple Watch. Really nice. And then there are some third-party apps. Um, and we're going to take a look at one of them right now that um, really was pretty slick. Okay. Um, it's called Facer. And um, you can see the icon right below the Apple Watch um, icon. It's called Facer. And when you go into it, um, you're going to see these channels, okay? And what it does is, first of all, when you first launch it, you got to give it permissions for the Photos app um, to access it. And then you're going to sync your watch face, your watch photos app to the facer photo, photo okay. folder. So we were, yes. we were talking about that earlier when we were on the photos uh, face. Yes. The, the synced Sync album is in the photo folder. settings. And you would pick this album called Facer, which this app creates, okay? Okay. And it creates another one called Facer Archive. So it's kind of cool. It copies all these pictures in. I copied in the NASA ones. Um, it put them all into that folder. And then when you switch the watch face, it switches it on your, uh, it just switches them and you, you see those then. So okay. um, they've got some really fun things. Here's one called Bears. It's oh, all pictures nice. of bears. NASA. Here's one that's um, three sheets, it's called. And it's, it's bringing up um, oh, cocktails. cocktails and how to make them. <laughs> oh, one I part love of it. this. Yeah, it's really fun. So it's, it's like a stock photo by category it is. for it's, your watch it's face. It's a really nice interface. And then you can do a social watch face. So you can add your own pictures and you can share it with people oh, who have an Apple Watch. Isn't that cool? That's really fun. Um, here is ever popular kitties, oh, which cat, um, right? we have active right now. <laughs> Again, you can create another social watch face, or you can browse channels. And if we go in here, you can see they've got all different kinds of things. Here's learn something new, like here's learning French, and here's learning different um, different things. Um, here's birds. There's a wow. lot of free ones. Oh, I like that Audubon birds one. I'll have to do that one. And it'll bring up little facts about things. Right. And then here, new and hot. They've got cool history, street art, uh, NASA, which I already have. TV and movies, a whole bunch of them. Some of them cost a little bit of money, I suppose, because there's a royalty to right, pay to Star images, Trek. Yeah. But if you're a Star Trek fan, this is you're a You're going to love one. it, right? Yeah, really. And these would be so unique. Uh, not very many people are going to know about this right. unless they watch our video. Right, right? and it, it's really fun. <laughs> so go ahead and check out the Facer app because we think it's really cool. So if you want to switch from one to the other, you just get over the one you want and see this button down mm. on the bottom. You tap on that and it'll send it right to your watch. And then it's like a face you can choose. Right. Now, when you send it over, it takes like a couple of seconds for okay. it to come up. Makes sense. Because it sends them to your Photos app, but okay. then the Photos app has to push them over to your watch. Yep. So let's take a look at it on the watch. So here we have that Facer, that third party watch app that we showed you. And you can see we have the kitties' uh, photos chosen. And to change them, I either turn my wrist away and come back, and there's a new oh, photo. Cute. I know. Who doesn't love cats? Yeah. Or you can tap on it, oh, and it will show you different pictures. So now I'm going to show you um, a few last things about watch faces on your watch. One feature, um, which is very handy, but it can also be very confusing when you first get your watch, right. is you can swipe through the watch faces that you've added on the watch app on your iPhone right on your watch. So if I swipe left or right. It will yep. start going through any watch faces that I've added on the watch app or on this watch here, on the watch itself, which I'll show you in a second. The thing that can be confusing when you first get your watch face is it can be kind of easy to accidentally do it. And all right. of a sudden you look down and you're like, well, how did I get that face? Right. You know, just swipe and you'll go back to the one that you really wanted. Now, um, you can also customize faces. If I swipe through here and pick one to customize, I'm going to use force touch, and that means I'm going to push it hard, okay? 
It's not a tap, it's a fort. It's actually a force. Right. And it was invented for the watch because it's such a small space to add functionality. And in this case, when I did force touch, it brought up the customize button. If I tap on that, you can see up here it has uh, three dots on this one. Okay, every face is gonna be different, which means I have three different screens that I can customize. So I'm on the first screen, and if I use my digital crown, it'll show me, see it's moving things around. It's doing the time scale yeah. in this one. The different ways I can do it. And then if I wanna to go to the next screen, I'm gonna swipe. And this is the color. Yep, and that'll show you, you know, the different, different color. colors, get it to where you want it, and swipe to the last screen. And here, a tap on the uh, complication is highlighted. This one right now is the date. So I could change the date. I don't really want to, right? Right. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on a different complication, which is your activity. I could go through the wheel and maybe I want the weather there. Right. And then you would just keep tapping on each complication that's on your face until you get it the way you want it. Perfect. And then when you're done, you just tap your digital crown, tap it again, and you're back out. And you can also add a brand new face um, right on your watch. If I do force touch again, and when I'm in the customize mode, if I scroll scroll all the way to the back. So you're going through all the watch faces yep, that are on here. you can pick one of these, or at the very end, you could tap new, and you could add a brand new face. Right. So, you know, I think the watch faces on the watch app are absolutely my favorite part of the watch. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> They're so fun to customize and set up and experiment with. And I hope, you know, we've shown you everything about every face. So I hope you enjoy uh, playing with the faces on your watch. Well, thanks for watching our video today. We so love making these videos and bringing you this free content, but we do need your support. Right, so how can you support us? First of all, don't skip the commercials. That's how any creator makes money on YouTube. Um, like our video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And another great way is to go to our website using the link on the screen and um, shop through our Amazon link. Same secure Amazon shopping that you love at no extra cost, but it really helps support us to bring you these great videos. Right. So thanks for learning with us and thanks for supporting us.